Hey, hey, Libra, intuitive soul coach here with your January 17th full wolf moon reading. So welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we're going to dive into the collective energy of Libra and we're going to take a look at what is going on in your energy during this full moon cycle. We'll take a look at accomplishments and celebrations along with obstacles that you are overcoming at this time. We'll also get messages from spirit along with your untapped spiritual gifts and greatest strengths. We'll see how you've grown during this cycle. And lastly, steps that you can take to continue growing on this journey. So again, welcome Libra. If you are interested in a personal reading or even entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right. So just a little bit about this wolf moon showing up for you, Libra. Uh, this wolf moon is all about introspection. It's about transformational shifts starting from the inside, as do most shifts happen in the inside. Uh, but this is about you really re-evaluating, re-inspecting your life. Where do you want to go from here? What do you need to get rid of to bring new into your life? What needs to be released? Uh, what creativity can you bring moving forward to manifest success and abundance in your life? That is the main energy during this full wolf moon, along with uh, a communal sense of energy. The wolf moon is known because it's, uh, it's a cold moon showing up, but also uh, the wolves really howl during this time. And they're howling uh, not to gain food or not to not to warn, but mostly to reach out to others, to let let the wolves know that they want to come together. There's a communal type of energy here uh, that is showing up. So this can be even about you speaking your truth. This can be you connecting with people on the on the outside that can help you manifest your dreams, uh, whether that is friends, partnerships, career, um, maybe it's love or romance, family, whatever this is for you, there's a sense of coming together, a sense of belonging and a new shift in your energy. On a collective level, Libra, a lot of people had a little bit of a slow start coming into the new year. And if that was you, uh, where usually you're really excited to jump in uh, to your goals, your resolutions, you're determined, you're motivated, there may have been a little bit of a pause where you may be feeling more energy the second half of January, even flowing into February regarding this determination streak. January, there's still a little bit of that pause to reinvent and reflect again on your life. So let's dive into your reading here. Uh, we have leave the past behind, Libra. Uh, whatever happened in 2021 or 2020 or 20 years ago, leave the past in the past because it's it doesn't belong where you are going. So there's something about, again, uh, really looking deepward and uh, taking a look at the lessons that you've learned from the past, but not hanging on to them. Taking them as a growth opportunity for uh, your soul's advancement here, but not hanging on to them where they're actually prohibiting or blocking your soul's growth. So whatever has happened in the past, whether there was a huge relationship shakeup for you, maybe there was a home loss or a job loss, uh, perhaps there wasn't even a huge tower moment in your life and that's okay, uh, but there has been a lot of shifts going on and this is saying look back at the good memories or the things that you were able to take out of the rubble or the challenging times, but don't sit in it. So I feel like a lot of you are really working on, again, releasing the past and moving forward into 2022 with a clean slate. And now this can be even in relationships, maybe it's with your health, and I feel like you're wanting to move forward. The next card we have out here is believe in your good luck. I'm getting the energy, especially around the 17th to the 28th of uh, January for you, Libra, is going to be a very happy, abundant time. You may, uh, <laughs> you may, I don't want to say hit the jackpot. Uh, maybe you physically do hit the jackpot, but there's a lot of luck coming into your energy. And it's like people are looking at you, Libra, in double 
double looking again and saying, did that really just happen to Libra or did they really just have a glow up or did they really just uh, win that amount of money? So you you really are carrying a four leaf clover in your pocket at this time, Libra. So uh, pay attention to what's coming into your life and what it is that you are manifesting and believe that you are worthy of it as well because the universe wants to give you the good karma that you've been putting out into the universe. And that's the law of karma. What goes around comes around. So if you've been putting out good into the world you're going to now see it see it coming back to you as well tenfold we're going to dive into your reading and see where your energy is at what accomplishments and successes are coming your way along with the obstacles that you're working on overcoming let's take a look and see where your energy is at six of pentacles this is a gift from the universe i love this card here uh you can see here that there is a witch right in the middle and she is holding a basket of goodies of breads there's also somebody here to her right where she is handing out pentacles so she's giving there's something here that you're receiving six of pentacles as unexpected resources it's material prosperity it can be help from others at this time it's about equal give and take generosity financial assistance uh charity even uh, but it's about giving and re without necessarily receiving because just as i was talking about that law of karma you have been putting out good for other people libra it's time for you to receive it so in this picture here i mean you could be the witch where you are the generous one handing out or you are the one that is receiving on the outskirts here so i like this energy to be in uh, but i feel like there's a, a lucky a lucky vibe even with this card and uh, you can see here that they're grateful there's a lot of divine energy showing up and a lot of gratitude and abundance so let's take a look at the accomplishments or successes here that you are celebrating towards this moon temperance moderation bringing things to balance and we know that it's not always difficult to always be in balance in our lives that's just not how life works but Libra, you are the sign that does represent balance. So if anybody can do it the best, it's you. But the temperance card says that you've been patient. You've really been trying to build something up here, whether that's in a relationship or you've been patient waiting for something to happen in your life. Maybe whatever this uh, equal give and take or gift from the universe is, you've been patient. You can see here uh, that not only is she practicing this balanced yoga pose but behind her on the table there are uh cupcakes there are uh, a martini but there's al also carrots and water and books and healthy things so i feel like this is about you coming back into your own here and you're celebrating uh bringing more balance into your life whatever that looks like to you here libra um major arcana showing up i feel like there's a, a little bit, I don't want to say of a compromise, but you have compromised either your time, your effort, your uh, money. You've done something to help other people out and now it's coming back to you. I'm really getting that strong sense of believing your luck because it's coming back. So this is really powerful. Also around the full moon energy, uh, make the magic happen is what they're saying, whatever that looks like to you. And it's interesting because I've never used this deck of cards uh, ever. Uh, but when I was tuning into getting ready to do full moon readings for this, the collective signs, uh, they, they said to me, bring the magic to the table. And I'm a Libra as well. So bring the magic to the table. Immediately, I knew that it meant this deck that I've on, I only use for my personal uh, self, friends, family, uh, but I, I don't use it. So I'm bringing, I feel like this is you, a sense of bringing the magic to the table. Let's take a look at uh, the obstacles or challenges that you are actually overcoming here and you are bringing into balance. We have the Ten of Cups. This is absolutely beautiful. This is a lot of you working on your emotional well-being here. This is you feeling the unconditional love, feeling content in all of your relationships here, Libra, which is very important to you. This is about happy family. It's about peace, good fortune, serenity. It's about positive communications and wrapping up any disputes or arguments because you can see in this card uh, that there are, you know, there's the cats, uh, the cat laying on the picnic uh, area here. There's a plentiful feast here spread out. There is a baby. There is a child. There is two people who 
are very much in love and they're enjoying the water and the serenity. There's the emotion. So there is a lot of love showing up. Uh, for some of you, you may be getting together even with family or with your soul tribe or your soul group here, uh, but there's going to be a lot of success. Uh, some of you may be even traveling and uh, you may be Seeing people that you haven't seen in a while is what I'm getting here for you, Libra. Uh, but the Six of Pentacles is allowing you to do something quite successful, something that you've been waiting for, waiting to see some sort of a result. Let's get one more card to clarify the overall energy of the celebrations and accomplishments. The Chariot. There's movement here. The Chariot card talks about success. Uh, but she is a uh, pause at the time being and she's looking and she has two directions. She can either go this way or that way is what the signs say. And this is about forward movement. It's about success, confidence. Uh, it's about, could even be travel for some of you, like I said. Uh, but what this is saying is regardless of which direction you go, there will be movement because you can't stay here in the spot forever. You have to pick a side. You have to pick a direction. And I feel for you here, uh, this is about you exactly leaving the past in the past. And that's the direction you're going, leaving the past in the past and moving forward to the future. Just clear, positive energy showing up for you here. So I really like this reading here, Libra. Very positive, beautiful energy. For those of you that did feel a little bit of stagnancy going into the new year, there is going to be movement and something really picking up, whether this is in your love life or your emotional life with the Ten of Cups, uh, or this is a job, possibly job opportunity showing up for you, or you will be traveling, or you'll be quite busy with family and friends. Uh, let's take a look at what is your untapped spiritual gift here, Libra. So something that you may have tapped into a little bit, but not quite fully. We have the Knight of Cups. So a lot of you wonderful Librans out there are working on emotionally evolving. And uh, you're working on opening up that heart chakra to doing something or being with someone that you really love. Uh, the Knight of Cups comes in and you can see that he's holding a cup and the hearts are all flying from it here. But right underneath is, uh, you know, is a shark. And what this is saying is this is a new offer possibly or at least... Um, Somebody who wears their heart on their sleeve. You may be, I mean, you, Venus rules you, Libra. You're in love with the idea of love sometimes. You enjoy the beautiful things and you enjoy the romanticism. But then that logical piece uh, sometimes stops you in your tracks and blocks that heart chakra. But the Knight of Cups coming in here for you is definitely about you moving forward towards something quite uh, fulfilling regarding your heart. So this is untapped. A lot of you may be meeting a new person uh, if you are single currently, or you may be really sparking up or amping up a relationship you're currently in. Uh, or others of you, this is moving towards a career or possibly traveling. Maybe you have a love for travel, Libra. Uh, but there's a lot of really promising energy in here uh, that you will triumph. You will move forward here. But uh, you haven't quite reached it yet is what I'm sensing. But you are moving towards uh, doing what you love or being with who you love. Let's take a look and see what your greatest strengths are, Libra. What are your greatest strengths? Here you are showing up. Page of Swords. Page of Swords showing up here. Uh, this is about curiosity. This is about you being uh, finally opening up and you learning what it takes to not only focus on your own self-care and self-love, uh, but what do you need to do to bring this into your life? Uh, Knights take action and you have two cards showing action here. So you're definitely moving towards something that is emotionally fulfilling. What is that? I feel it's your Ten of Cups. You're bringing something into balance here that may have been a little bit chaotic or maybe you weren't able to moderate very well. Uh, with the Six of Pentacles, the universe is gifting you this uh, wonderful gift. And uh, it has to do with something moving forward that's been stuck or stagnant. And uh, the Page of Swords talks about communication as well, uh, but talks about receiving some sort of news. It could be in the form of a phone conversation. I feel uh, if you have been waiting to hear back from somebody, whether this is a lover or this is a work situation, somebody may call you on the phone uh, by the 28th of January is what I'm getting here. Here. You may receive an offer. I like this. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups and this Page of Swords regarding your spiritual gifts and greatest strengths. Spirit, what do we have here for greatest strengths? Libra, hanged man. Yes. 
Libra, you have the ability to really uh, see things from a brand new perspective. You've been hanging around doing something the same way for quite a while. And that's what I was getting here with this energy of the past. In the past, there was something you were doing that just wasn't working, but you kept doing it. Maybe you kept doing it out of comfort, or maybe you kept uh, in that relationship because there were still lessons to learn, or maybe you stayed in this job because you were gradually building up here, uh, but I feel like you're not hanging around any longer because the lessons have been learned, or you've learned all that you can in a certain situation, and you know you must move in a different direction, and that's what this chariot energy is all about here. This is about you uh, saying sayonara to the past and you moving forward in this brand new direction and she has her little tidy uh cat companion feline companion here next to her and she's ready she may be a little bit nervous a little bit scared because which way do i go this way or that way but sometimes we're lucky enough to go both ways especially you libra you are the the scales a lot of times in life you have to do both things and see both sides of both perspectives and that's what this hangman energy is about you've already did this side you've already hung around and done something now it's time for you to see from this point of view so i really like this showing up i'm getting a little bit of soul purpose uh, or soul almost like that judgment card of your change in the direction of your life path so let's dive in and uh, see what messages Spirit has for you, Libra. What does Spirit have for Libra regarding this full moon energy? Quite a wonderful reading. All right, we have Be Proud. I love this. We're going to get two more cards before we dive in. A lot of you, there's a really big accomplishment coming up. Believe. And pat yourself on the back because Spirit is saying you've come a long way and you've done uh, a lot of internal personal growth. So definitely pat yourself. And there's the study piece of it as well. All right. So we have Be Proud showing up for you, Libra. It says it's time to celebrate all that you've achieved, all that you are, and all that you will become. Every once in a while, it's important to stop and acknowledge what you've achieved and to be proud, just as I was saying here. So step back and uh, see how far you've come. Because if you actually analyze and reevaluate everything that you've been through up to this point, you're going to look back and say, damn, I did go through a lot. I did accomplish this. I've achieved this. I am a badass. So next we have belief or believe. The force that works through your soul determining what's possible or impossible. The difference, Libra, between success over failure and above all who you are is the power of your belief. Do you believe that you are worthy? Again, do you believe that you are the creator and the manifester of your own reality? You absolutely are. I feel out of all the signs, I feel like you are one of those signs that really can see things from that higher perspective. You can see the spiritual and intuitive yet uh, logical mind. You're able to bring the balance to all sides of everything, Libra, and that's a wonderful gift that you have. Uh, but believing in yourself is key in this lifetime, or in any lifetime, to achieving the success. And you have it coming in here. Also, they're right. They just said luck. You have believe in your good luck and then you have believe. So there's something here. Uh, Libra, I feel if you were to jot down the word luck right now or if you were to jot down a four-leaf clover, carry that with you almost in your purse, in your wallet, uh, post it on your mirror, wherever it is here because I really, really want you to believe that luck is coming towards you. All right. And then lastly, we have study. It says, spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again. From time to time, it's important to go back and learn. Whether that's learning old things in a new way, hello, hanged man, or if that's learning something totally new, there is an opportunity to expand your mind. That's what that hanged man energy is. is. It's learning something in a new way because you've already done it this way and it didn't work. Or maybe you've learned the lessons that you've already needed to learn doing it that way. Now there's new energy coming in to expand and grow your mind once again. Because after all, that's what we came here to do is grow, learn, and expand. All right, let's take a look, Libra and see just how you have grown during this moon cycle. How have you grown during this cycle? Five of Swords. This is wonderful. Five of Swords, especially in reverse. You can see here that 
The witches are trying to stir this cauldron, right? But everybody thinks it's my way or the highway. She knows best. No, she knows best. No, she knows best, right? They're having a hard time working together. So what you've actually learned, Libra, is how to cooperate, how to work together instead of my way or the highway sometimes. Uh, you've, you're able to figure that you have something that you can bring to the pot. She has something she can bring and she has something. And it's not about... Uh, who needs to win. It's not about winning at all costs. It's about deciding to choose your battles. Is it worth the fight? Is it worth losing my soul tribe or my friends? Is it worth uh, interfering in this relationship due to my own issues? So you're really looking at yourself and you're avoiding conflict. And that's what you like to do anyway, Libra. You don't like drama. But I feel like that is how you have grown is you don't want to stir the pot in a situation any longer if it's not in everybody's favor, including your own. Uh, because sometimes in the past, you may have been doing things out of a selfish nature or out of just trying to win and be the one that had the last say or the final word. You're saying, you know what? It's not worth my time, my energy, my effort. So this could be, you know, anybody in your life, coworkers, sisters, brothers, children, parents, lovers. And you're saying, I'm going to just step back. Not my monkeys, not my circus, right? It's not worth the fight. It's not worth putting my energy into something that's just going to expand for the worse instead of uh, me just figuring out how to cooperate and building other people up. So again, this is loving, not hating. Trying to work on building not only yourself up, but grabbing their hands along the way and helping them up too. And that's kind of the energy I'm sensing here. But we're going to get one more card to clarify how you've grown. And if that sounds like your energy with the five of swords really pat yourself on the back libra because that's a really hard thing to accomplish the emperor you've taken charge and taken lead of your life the emperor builds stability the emperor he can be kind and nurturing like the empress as well but he does so in a different manner he's a little more uh, firm he's a little more I don't want to say blunt because blunt sounds a little bit uh, hard, but the emperor shows his love and kindness in different ways. And I feel like you are really taking charge of your life. And you can see here that loyalty is his friend. The German shepherd is right underneath him and willing to do whatever he takes. Man's best friend, right? So there may be a situation uh, that is either coming to you that is bringing a lot of loyalty uh, or a lot of trust. And uh, there is a map here of the constellations and he he can see beyond but he also can think logically not just with his heart on his sleeve he has a heart and his heart's open but he does tend to think more logically here uh, but he's also a very wonderful father influence and it doesn't matter if you're female or male um, this emperor can be even a boss or somebody showing up for you i feel like you're bossing up because we're clarifying how you have grown here, Libra. So I feel like you're ch taking charge of your life. You're being loyal to yourself is what this means here. Uh, others are loyal to you at this time as well. Why? Because they're not looking at you as a threat. They're not saying Libra wants the drama. Libra wants to fight. They're saying, you know what? Libra has grown. Libra is somebody worth uh, worth respect. Libra is somebody who wants to help me, um, not drown me. You know, somebody who wants to stand by my side and watch my success and grow and they can actually help me do so. You may be thinking that way about somebody or they may be thinking that way about you. And lastly, let's take a look at the steps that you can take Libra to continue growing on your soul's journey. The lovers. This is, I love it. The lovers card is absolutely beautiful. Gemini energy as well, but this can be about a life-changing opportunity, decision, or choice that comes in, and that's the energy that we have, the past, that chariot energy. Which direction do I want to go? Do I want to open my heart up to others, uh, hold out my hand so they can grab it, and I can help them up? Do I want to show love in all forms? The lovers doesn't just have to be a soulmate or twin flame connection. It can, uh, well, I mean, soulmate can come in all forms. This can be pets. This can be 
children, family members, best friends. Uh, this is just showing love in all different avenues, all different modalities, forms here. So the lover's card is saying that you're opening your heart up to the, the love that the world has to offer. So this is really beautiful showing up for you. The steps that you can take to continue growing, keep that heart open and uh, leave the past in the past and believe that luck is coming up. I feel uh, karmically, this is going to be a very good cycle for you in 2022. Libra, if you've had a little bit of a rough patch in 2021 or even 2020 here, uh, and I feel this could be a rough patch regarding relationships since it was the lovers, I feel like you are really turning a new leaf and there's a new side of you that maybe you haven't seen for a while that will show up. Uh, this could be love coming in towards you. Maybe this is even a marriage. Uh, this can be really strong friendships that you've been craving for quite a while. This could be sisterhood bonds or even brotherhood here. Uh, but this is a really, really strong, beautiful connection. And you can even see here that the two cats are joined by their tails, creating a wonderful, beautiful heart here. So love in all all forms is going to continue growing in your life let's get one more card for Libra on steps that they can take that you can take Libra to continue growing Queen of Cups emotionally evolving and taking care of yourself now the Queen of Cups is extremely intuitive very compassionate um, she's also could be a, a psychic a tarot reader she may be in the caring profession maybe a nurse uh, or Anybody in the medical field, whether it's holistic or traditional, but the first thing I'm noticing with the Queen of Cups, in order for you to continue growing, make sure to nurture yourself. Fill your cup first here, Libra, because you can see in the picture that she has a big, wonderful seashell that's representing her cup, right? And she has the koi fish that are waiting for her to, even though there's a whole ocean full of water, the fish want her, her water because she has a lot of love in that water. And uh, the cats are surrounding her, excited to get a little bit of the water, the action. There's cats over here that are in her throne that are watching her with, with compassion and love and envy. Uh, that Queen of Cups energy brings and creates life you can see that there could be life growing in her belly creativity but she takes care of everybody else it's almost empress vibes which is you uh libra but this is about taking care of yourself making sure your cup is full and you will uh overflow so much where you're able to help other people as well and that's kind of that energy i'm getting here especially with the lover's card queen of cups is really nurturing loving energy so i feel a big theme for you in 2022 libra will be love and last but not least we're going to get a message from the sacred rebel oracle uh one of my new favorite decks and for those of you that are interested in any of the decks I do use during the readings, they are all listed in the description box below. And uh, we have Conscious Connections. This is wonderful. Huh, this is exactly what we've been talking about. Some of you may be even dealing with a Twin Flame. If you are unfamiliar with Twin Flame energy is, uh, please look it up. Uh, but it, usually in a twin flame energy, there is a separation period. In 2022, you may actually be coming together again with a twin flame. Uh, and if this happens, it's rare. It doesn't always happen uh, because a lot of times it's too difficult to come back together with a twin flame. But if you do, it can bring that 10 of cups energy, which you have right here in the middle. Uh, this can also be you balancing that feminine uh, and masculine side but also you taking a look at what's right in front of you the friendships that you have uh the people that love you your family your soul tribe your group so in 2022 especially this moon energy uh january 28th as well very powerful along with february 5th they're giving me uh there may be you connecting with others of like-minded nature okay like-minded conscious connections that you will be interacting there may be very important partnerships showing up for you in 2022. Now, this can be through career. Maybe it is through moves. Uh, it can be clients. Uh, again, it doesn't matter who it is here, but it's very important. And I feel like you will be um, sharing 
sharing the connectivity because the, your theme is just very clear here, uh, very beautiful, but you have so many wonderful cards showing up in your reading. I feel like this is also about you coming home to yourself. This conscious connection is about you recognizing what your soul came here to do, Libra, and uh, you're following your true north. And remember in the beginning of your reading, I said something about a, uh, a soul energy, a soul path uh, energy. I feel like that is uh, where you're headed. This could be you connecting with where you are supposed to be on your soul's path. All right, Libra, this is one of my favorite readings I've done for you. A lot of really deep energy, but I'm excited to see where your 2022 goes. Uh, again, a lot of success coming in here for you, something you've been waiting on with the Ten of Cups energy, a lot of overflowing abundance. Your cup will be overflowing. All right, I hope this resonates. If so, please feel free to hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already, Libra, and I'm sending you a lot of wonderful love, light, and abundance. Till next time.